What's up guys, my name is Technobber here from Troubleshoot and today I've got a really simple Discord tip for you. So, if you have your own Discord and you're the creator of it slash owner of it, how exactly do you go ahead and transfer ownership to another account, say you want to give it to a friend or simply move it across to a new account? Well, first of all, you need to make sure that you're actually the owner of the Discord. How exactly can you do that? Well, there's two main ways. The simplest is by clicking the name in the top left and heading to server settings. Then if you see a delete server button and you get this pop up when you click it, then you are the creator of the Discord server. Anyone who's not the creator, no matter how many perms you give them, cannot delete the Discord. Then the second way that we can find out if we're the owner of the Discord is if we have a little crown next to our name. When hovered over, it says server owner. Everyone else won't have this. Though, of course, you may not have this little crown if there's no differentiation between you and other people on the Discord server. Heading across to my Discord server, you can see I'm in a role that's only for me. I'm the only one with it, and I don't have a crown next to me, even though this is my Discord, and I have the option to delete it if I wish. So keep that in mind. You may not have the crown if you give yourself a custom role that's unique to you. Either ways, heading back to our server, I'll go ahead and transfer ownership from my main account to my alt account over here. How exactly do we do that? Well, all we need to do is click the name in the top left, head across to server settings. Then we head across to members and we find the person we want to give it to. If you need, you can sort by role and search for their username in the search box over here. Then once you've found the person you want to give it to and you've made sure that they have the correct ID, then you can click the three dots next to their name and click transfer ownership. Upon clicking it, you'll get this pop up over here. I acknowledge that by transferring ownership of the server to this other account, it officially belongs to them. So keep this in mind, check this box and click transfer ownership. Then if you have two factor authentication enabled, you'll need to find your phone or whatever device you have and put in the two factor auth code. Though of course, if you don't have two factor auth, you'll probably still get an email to your email address that you'll need to go ahead and enter a code from in order to finish the transfer. After entering my auth code and hitting enter, you'll see the screen goes black for a millisecond or so and comes back. Now the crown is on my alt account and I no longer have it. Now that I'm not the owner anymore, when I click the drop down, I don't have the server settings tab at all. Why is that? Well, it's simply because I don't have any permissions on the server. If I were to go ahead and create an admin role as such, you can see that I now have admin and my alternate account doesn't. If I click the drop down, I now have the server settings option. Upon clicking it, you'll see that the delete server option is no longer there and there's absolutely nothing we can do to delete it. Only the owner can delete this discord. And now that I've transferred ownership back, but I have my own admin role, you can see that the crown has disappeared, but I'm the server owner. Because this role is specific to me and only me, then the crown no longer shows. But heading across to server settings, you can see delete server is back here. So I'll go ahead and give my alt account the admin role as such. Now, if I were to go ahead and restart Discord, you'd see that there is still no crown here. So it may be a bit confusing to see who the actual owner is, but if you have your own unique role that displays you separately, then it may not show at all. So just make sure to keep this in mind. Then again, checking the role options, just so you can see something, the admin role over here has absolutely everything checked and still with all of the permissions, you're not able to delete the server. So there is still quite a bit that you can do. Anyways, that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and delete the server as I used it just for an example. Thank you all for watching. My name is Ben Technobo here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.